The Gujarati people or Gujaratis Gujarati, Gujarati are an ethnic group traditionally from Gujarat that speak Gujarati, an Indo-Aryan language. Gujaratis are very prominent in industry and key figures played a historic role in the introduction of the doctrine of Swaraj and the Indian independence movement in British-ruled India. Gujarati people are descended from Aryan nomads who rose in the fertile valleys of the Indus River in 2000 BC and settled in Gujarat. Geographical locations Albeit with huge migration for economic reasons, most Gujaratis in India live in the state of Gujarat in western India. Gujaratis also form a significant part of the populations in the neighbouring metropolis of Mumbai and Union territories of Daman and Diu, and Dadra Nagar Haveli, both being former Portuguese colonies. There are very large Gujarati immigrant communities in other parts of India, most notably in Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta, Madras, Bangalore and other metropolitan areas like Kolam and Kochi in Kerala. All throughout history Gujaratis have earned a reputation as being India's greatest merchants, industrialists and business entrepreneurs, and have therefore been at forefront of migrations all over the world, particularly to regions that were part of the British Empire such as Fiji, Hong Kong, New Zealand, East Africa and countries in Southern Africa. Diasporas and transnational networks in many of these countries date back to more than a century. In recent decades, larger numbers of Gujaratis have migrated to English-speaking countries such as the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and the United States. History Between 1790–1, an epidemic devastated numerous parts of Gujarat during which 100,000 Gujaratis were killed in Surat alone, an outbreak of bubonic plague in 1812 has been claimed to have killed about half the Gujarati population. Early European travellers like Ludovico di Varthima travelled to Gujarat and wrote on the people of Gujarat. He noted that Jainism had a strong presence in Gujarat and opined that Gujaratis were deprived of their kingdom by Mughals because of their kind-heartedness. His description of Gujaratis was Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Social stratification. Orthodox Gujarati society which was mercantile by nature, was historically organized along ethno-religious lines and shaped into existence on the strength of its Mahajan guild assemblies, and for its institution of Nagarshath, head of the guild assembly, a 16th-century Mughal system akin to medieval European guilds which self-regulated the mercantile affairs of multi-ethnic, multi-religious communities in the Gujarati bourgeoisie long before municipal state politics was introduced. Historically, Gujaratis belonging to numerous faiths and castes, thrived in an inclusive climate surcharged by a degree of cultural syncretism, in which Hindus and Jains dominated occupations such as shroffs and brokers whereas, Muslims, Hindus and Parsis largely dominated sea shipping trade. This led to religious interdependence, tolerance, assimilation and community cohesion ultimately becoming the hallmark of modern-day Gujarati society. Religion The Gujarati people are predominantly Hindu. There are also significant populations of Jains and Muslims, and minor populations of Sikhs, Buddhists, Zoroastrians, Jews and Christians. <inaudible> Hindu communities The major communities in Gujarat are the traditional agriculturalists such as Patel, Ahir, Barvad, and Ribari, artisan communities Gurur, Prajapati, Sindhi Mochi, Brahmin communities such as Anavil, Nagar, Mode, farming communities such as Chowdhury Jats and Kohli people, genealogist communities such as Sharans and Baros, Kshatriya communities such as Kohli Thakur, Banishali, Khadi Darbars, Karadia, Chudasama, Mar, Parsi community, tribal communities such as Bills, Megwal, and Kolas and Vaishya, such as Bhatia, Lohana, Soni. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Muslim communities. The major Gujarati Muslim communities include Badala, Daudi Bora, Memon, Koja, Saeed, Sidi, and Bahora. Topic. <inaudible> <inaudible> 
Topic: Diaspora. Gujaratis have a long tradition of seafaring and a history of overseas migration to foreign lands, to Yemen Oman Bahrain, Kuwait, Zanzibar and other countries in the Persian Gulf since a mercantile culture resulted naturally from the state's proximity to the Arabian Sea. The countries with the largest Gujarati populations are Pakistan, United Kingdom, United States, Canada and many countries in southern and East Africa. Globally, Gujaratis are estimated to comprise around 33% of the Indian diaspora worldwide and can be found in 129 of 190 countries listed as sovereign nations by the United Nations. Non-resident Gujaratis NRGs maintain active links with the homeland in the form of business, remittance, philanthropy, and through their political contribution to state-governed domestic affairs. Gujarati parents in the diaspora are not comfortable with the possibility of their language not surviving them. In a study, 80% of Malayali parents felt that children would be better off with English, compared to 36% of Kannada parents and only 19% of Gujarati parents. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pakistan. There is a community of Gujarati Muslims mainly settled in the Pakistani province of Sindh for generations. Community leaders say there are 3 million speakers of Gujarati language in Karachi. A sizable number migrated after the partition of India and subsequent creation of independent Pakistan in 1947. These Pakistani Gujaratis belong mainly to the Ism Ili, Koja, Dawoodi Bora, Chundrigar, Charotar Sunni Vora, Muslim Ganchi, Muslim Khatri, and Memon groups. However, many Gujaratis are also a part of Pakistan's small but vibrant Hindu community. Famous Gujaratis of Pakistan include Muhammad Ali Jinnah, father of Pakistan, Ibrahim Ismail Chundrigar, sixth Prime Minister of Pakistan, Sir Adam G. Haji Dawood, philanthropist, Abu Bakr Osman Mitha, Major General, Abdul Razak Yaqub, philanthropist, Javed Miandad, Pakistani cricketer, Abdul Sitar Eddy, humanitarian, Jahangir H. Kothari, philanthropist, Abdul Ghaffar Bilu, philanthropist, Sarfraz Ahmed, Pakistani cricketer, Ramzan Chipa, philanthropist. Tapu Javeri, Pakistani fashion and art photographer, Pervez Hoodboy, Pakistani nuclear physicist, and Ardashir Kawis G, Pakistani critic and social activist. Topic: <laughs> United States. The United States has the second largest Gujarati population after Pakistan. The highest concentration of the population of over 100,000 is in the New York City metropolitan area alone, notably in the growing Gujarati diasporic center of India Square in Jersey City, New Jersey, and Edison in Middlesex County in central New Jersey. Significant immigration from India to the United States started after the Landmark Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. Early immigrants after 1965 were highly educated professionals. Since U.S. immigration laws allow sponsoring immigration of parents, children and particularly siblings on the basis of family reunion, the numbers rapidly swelled in a phenomenon known as chain migration. A number of Gujarati are twice or thrice migrant because they came directly from the former British colonies of East Africa or from East Africa via Great Britain respectively given the Gujarati propensity for business enterprise, a number of them opened shops and motels. Now in the 21st century over 40% of the hospitality industry in the United States is controlled by Gujaratis. Gujaratis, especially the Padadar Samaj, also dominate as franchisees of fast food restaurant chains such as Subway and Dunkin' Donuts. The descendants of the Gujarati immigrant generation have also made high levels of advancement into professional fields, including as physicians, engineers and politicians. In August 2016, Air India commenced single aircraft no transfer flight service between Ahmedabad and Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey via London Heathrow International Airport. Notable Gujarati Americans include Ami Bera, United States Congress, Reshma Sajani, American politician, Sonal Shah, economist to White House, Raj Shah, White House Deputy Press Secretary under President Trump, Rohit Vyas, Indian American journalist. Bharat Desai, CEO Sintel, Vyamesh Joshi, Forbes, Romesh Wadwani, Forbes, Raj Bavsar, Sports, Halim Donadina, first Muslim judge of California, Savan Kotecha, Grammy-nominated American songwriter, and Hollywood actresses, Sheetal Sheth and Noreen Dulf.
Topic: Europe. Topic: United Kingdom. Gujaratis have had a long involvement with Britain. The original East India Company set up a factory trading post in the port city of Surat in Gujarat in 1615. These were the beginnings of first real British involvement with India that eventually led to the formation of the British Raj. The third largest overseas diaspora of Gujaratis, after Pakistan and United States, is in the UK. At a population of around 600,000 Gujaratis form almost half of the Indian community who live in the UK 1.2 million. Gujaratis first went to the UK in the 19th century with the establishment of the British Raj in India. Prominent members of this community such as Shyamji Krishna Varma played a vital role in exerting political pressure upon colonial powers during the Indian independence movement. The present-day Gujarati diaspora in the UK is mostly the second and third generation descendants of twice over immigrants from the former British colonies of East Africa, Portugal, and Indian Ocean Islands. Most of them despite being British subjects had restricted access to Britain after successive immigration acts of 1962, 1968 and 1971. Most were, however, eventually admitted on the basis of a quota voucher system or, in case of Uganda, as refugees after the expulsion order by the Ugandan ruler, Idi Amin in August 1972. Gujaratis in Britain are regarded as affluent middle-class peoples who have assimilated into the milieu of British society. They are celebrated for revolutionising the corner shop, and energising the British economy which changed Britain's antiquated retail laws forever. Demographically, Hindus form a majority along with a significant number of Jains and Muslims, and smaller numbers of Gujarati Christians. They are predominantly settled in metropolitan areas like Greater London, East Midlands, West Midlands, Lancashire and Yorkshire. Cities with significant Gujarati populations include Leicester and London boroughs of Brent, Barnet, Harrow and Wembley. There is also a small, but vibrant Gujarati-speaking Parsi community of Zoroastrians present in the country, dating back to the bygone era of Dadabai Navroji, Shapurji Saklotvala and Farazesha Mehta. Both Hindus and Muslims have established caste or community associations, temples, and mosques to cater for the needs of their respective communities. A well-known temple popular with Gujaratis is the Baps Swaminarayan Temple in Neesden, London. A popular mosque that caters for the Gujarati Muslim community in Leicester is the Masjid Umar. Leicester has a Jain temple that is also the headquarters of Jain Samaj Europe. The Sri Prajapati Association is a charity, already thriving in East Africa, which has 13 branches in the UK and is strongly dependent on support from the Gujarati community in Britain. Gujarati Hindus in the UK have maintained many traditions from their homeland. The community remains religious with more than 100 temples catering for their religious needs. All major Hindu festivals such as Navratri, Dasara, and Diwali are celebrated with a lot of enthusiasm even from the generations brought up in UK. Gujarati Hindus also maintain their caste affiliation to some extent with most major castes having their own community association in each population centre with significant Gujarati population such as Leicester and London suburbs. Patadars form the largest community in the diaspora including Kutch Leva Patels, followed closely by Lohanas of Saurashtra origin. Gujarati Rajputs from various regional backgrounds are affiliated with several independent British organisations dependent on caste such as Sri Mar Samaj UK, and the Gujarati Arya Kshatriya Mahasabha UK. Endogamy remains important to Gujarati Muslims in UK with the existence of matrimonial services specifically dedicated to their community. Gujarati Muslim society in the UK have kept the custom of Jamit Bandi, literally meaning communal solidarity. This system is the traditional expression of communal solidarity. It is designed to regulate the affairs of the community and apply sanctions against infractions of the communal code. Gujarati Muslim communities, such as the Ism Ili, Koja, Dawoodi Bora, Sunni Bora, and Memon have caste associations, known as Jamits that run mosques and community centers for their respective communities. India becoming the predominant IT powerhouse in the 1990s has led to waves of new immigration by Gujaratis, and other Indians with software skills to the UK. Belgium 
Two Gujarati business communities, the Palanpuri Jains and the Kathiawadi Patels from Surat, have come to dominate the diamond industry of Belgium. They have largely displaced the Orthodox Jewish community which previously dominated this industry in Belgium. Canada Canada, just like its southern neighbour, is home to a large Gujarati community. According to the 2011 National Household Survey, there are 118,950 Gujaratis of various religious backgrounds living in Canada. The majority of them live in Toronto and its suburbs, home to the second largest Gujarati community in North America after the New York metropolitan area. Gujarati Hindus are the second largest linguistic, religious group in Canada's Indian community after Punjabi Sikhs, and Toronto is home to the largest Navratri Raas Garba festival in North America. The Ismaili Koja form a significant part of the Canadian diaspora estimated to be about 80,000 in numbers overall. Most of them arrived in Canada in the 1970s as immigrants from Uganda and other countries of East Africa. Notable Gujarati Canadians include Bharat Misrani, CEO of TD Bank Group, Zane Verji, CNN journalist, Ali Velshi, former CNN, current MSNBC journalist, Rizwan Manji, Canadian actor, Avin Jogia, Canadian actor, Richie Mehta, Canadian film director, Nazneen Contractor, Canadian actress, Ishu Patel, BAFTA winning animations director, Arif Varani, member of Parliament for Parkdale High Park, Raheem Jaffer, member of Parliament for Edmonton Strathcona, Nahid Nenshi, 36th Mayor of Calgary, Omar Sashadina, CTV News anchor, and Prashant Patak, investor and philanthropist. Topic: <laughs> East Africa. Former British colonies in East Africa had many residents of South Asian descent. The primary immigration was mainly from Gujarat and to a lesser extent from Punjab. They were brought there by the British Empire from India to do clerical work in imperial service, or unskilled, semi-skilled manual labour such as construction or farm work. In the 1890s, 32,000 labourers from British India were brought to the then British East African colonies under indentured labour contracts to work on the construction of the Uganda Railway that started in the Kenyan port city of Mombasa and ended in Kisumu on Kenyan side of Lake Victoria. Most of the surviving Indians returned home, but 6,724 individuals decided to remain in the African Great Lakes after the line's completion. Many Asians, particularly the Gujarati, in these regions were in the trading businesses. They included Gujaratis of all religions as well many of the castes and qualms. Since the representation of Indians in these occupations was high, stereotyping of Indians in Kenya, Uganda and Tanganyika as shopkeepers was common. A number of people worked for the British-run banks. They also worked in skilled labour occupations, as managers, teachers and administrators. Gujarati and other South Asians had significant influence on the economy, constituting 1% of the population while receiving a fifth of the national income. For example, in Uganda, the Mehta and Madhvana families controlled the bulk of the manufacturing businesses. Gated ethnic communities served elite health care and schooling services. Additionally, the tariff system in Uganda had historically been oriented toward the economic interests of South Asian traders. One of the oldest Jain overseas diaspora was of Gujarat. Their number was estimated at 45,000 at the independence of the East African countries in the early 1960s. Most members of this community belonged to Gujarati-speaking Halari Visa Oshwal Jain community originally from the Jamnagar area of Saurashtra. The countries of East Africa gained independence from Britain in the early 1960s. At that time most Gujarati and other Asians opted to remain as British subjects. The African politicians at that time accused Asians of economic exploitation and introduced a policy of Africanization. The 1968 Committee on Africanization in Commerce and Industry in Uganda made far-reaching indophobic proposals. A system of work permits and trade licenses was introduced in 1969 to restrict the role of Indians in economic and professional activities. Indians were segregated and discriminated against in all walks of life. During the middle of the 1960s many Asians saw the writing on the wall and started moving either to UK or India. However, restrictive British immigration policies stopped a mass exodus of East African Asians until Idi Amin came to power in 1971. 
He exploited pre-existing Indophobia and spread propaganda against Indians involving stereotyping and scapegoating the Indian minority. Indians were stereotyped as only traders and inbred to their profession. Indians were labeled as Dukawalas, an occupational term that degenerated into an anti-Indian slur during Ammon's time, and stereotyped as greedy, conniving, without any racial identity or loyalty but always cheating, conspiring and plotting to subvert Uganda. Amin used this propaganda to justify a campaign of de-Indianization, eventually resulting in the expulsion and ethnic cleansing of Uganda's Indian minority. Kenya Gujarati and other Indians started moving to the Kenya colony at the end of the 19th century when the British colonial authorities started opening up the country with the laying down of the railways. A small colony of merchants, however, had existed on the port cities such Mombasa on the Kenyan coast for hundreds of years prior to that. The immigrants who arrived with the British were the first ones to open up businesses in rural Kenya a century ago. These Dukawalas or shopkeepers were mainly Gujarati mostly Jains and Hindus and a minority of Muslims. Over the following decades the population, mainly Gujarati but also a sizable number of Punjabi, increased in size. The population started declining after the independence of Kenya in the 1960s. At that time the majority of Gujaratis opted for British citizenship and eventually moved there, especially to cities like Leicester or London suburbs. Famous Kenyans of Gujarati heritage who contributed greatly to the development of East Africa include Thakur Bapa, Manu Chandaria, Atul Shah, Balubai Patel, Bimji Dapar Shah Forbes, Naushid Morali Forbes, and Indian philanthropist, Alibai Mullah Jeevan G, who played a large role in the development of modern-day Kenya during colonial rule. <laughs> Uganda. There is a small community of people of Indian origin living in Uganda, but the community is far smaller than before 1972 when Ugandan ruler Idi Amin expelled most Asians, including Gujaratis. In the late 19th century, mostly Sikhs, were brought on three-year contracts, with the aid of Imperial British contractor Alibi Mullah Jeevanji to build the Uganda Railway from Mombasa to Kisumu by 1901, and to Kampala by 1931. Some died, while others returned to India after the end of their contracts, but few chose to stay. They were joined by Gujarati traders called passenger Indians, both Hindu and Muslim free migrants who came to serve the economic needs of the indentured laborers, and to capitalize on the economic opportunities. After the 1972 expulsion, most Indians and Gujaratis migrated to the United Kingdom. Due to the efforts of the Aga Khan, many Koja Nazari Ismaili refugees from Uganda were offered asylum in Canada. Tanzania Indians have a long history in Tanzania starting with the arrival of Gujarati traders in the 19th century. There are currently over 50,000 people of Indian origin in Tanzania. Many of them are traders and they control a sizable portion of the Tanzanian economy. They came to gradually control the trade in Zanzibar. Many of the buildings constructed then still remain in Stone Town, the focal trading point on the island. <laughs> South Africa The Indian community in South Africa is more than a century old and is concentrated in and around the city of Durban. The vast majority of immigrant pioneer Gujaratis who came in the latter half of the 19th century were passenger Indians who paid for their own travel fare and means of transport to arrive and settle South Africa, in pursuit of fresh trade and career opportunities and as such were treated as British subjects, unlike the fate of a class of Indian indentured laborers who were transported to work on the sugarcane plantations of Natal Colony in dire conditions. Passenger Indians, who initially operated in Durban, expanded inland, to the South African Republic Transvaal, establishing communities in settlements on the main road between Johannesburg and Durban. After wealthy Gujarati Muslim merchants began experiencing discrimination from repressive colonial legislation in Natal, they sought the help of one young lawyer, Mahatma Gandhi to represent the case of a Memon businessman. 
Umar Haji Ahmed Javeri was consequently elected the first president of the South African Indian Congress. Indians have played an important role in the anti-apartheid movement of South Africa. Many were incarcerated alongside Nelson Mandela following the Rivonia trial, and many became martyred fighting to end racial discrimination. Notable South African Indians of Gujarati heritage include Marxist freedom fighters such as Ahmed Timmel activist, Yusuf Dadu activist, Ahmed Kathrada activist, Amina Kachalia activist, and Dula Omar activist, as well as Ahmed Didit missionary, Imran Garda Al Jazeera English, and Hashim Amla cricketer. Topic: Sultanate of Oman. Oman, holding a strategically important position at the mouth of the Persian Gulf, has been the primary focus of trade and commerce for medieval Gujarati merchants for much of its glorious history and Gujaratis, along with various other ethnic groups, contributed to the rich dynamic culture, founding and settlement of its capital port city, Muscat. Some of the earliest Indian immigrants to settle in Oman were the Bhatias of Kutch, who have a powerful presence in Oman dating back to the 16th century. At the turn of the 19th century, Gujaratis wielded such immense political clout that Faisal bin Turki, the great-grandfather of the current ruler, spoke Gujarati and Swahili along with his native Arabic and Oman Sultan Syed said was persuaded to shift his capital from Muscat to Zanzibar, more than 2,000 miles from the Arabian mainland, on the recommendation of Shivji Topan and Bimji families who lent money to the Sultan. In modern times, business tycoon Kanaksi Kimji, from the famous Kimji family of Gujarat was conferred title of Sheikh by the Sultan, the first ever use of the title for a member of the Hindu community. The Muscati Mahajan is one of the oldest merchants associations founded more than a century ago. <laughs> <laughs> Southeast Asia Gujaratis had a flourishing trade with Southeast Asia in the 15th and 16th centuries, and played a pivotal role in establishing Islam in the region. Miller 2010 presented a theory that the indigenous scripts of Sumatra Indonesia, Sulawesi Indonesia, and the Philippines are descended from an early form of the Gujarati script. Tomei Pires reported a presence of a thousand Gujaratis in Malacca Malaysia prior to 1512. Gujarati language continues to be spoken in Singapore and Malaysia. Malaysia There are estimated around 31,500 Gujarati in Malaysia. Most of this community work as traders and settled in urban part of Malaysia like Georgetown, Kuala Lumpur and Ipoh. Cuisine <inaudible> 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 Gujarati food has famously been described as the oat cuisine of vegetarianism, and meals have a subtle balance of sweet, tart and mild hot sensations on the palate. Gujarati Jains, many Hindus and Buddhists in Gujarat are vegetarian. However, many Gujaratis such as Hindu Rajputs, Christians, and Muslims have traditionally eaten a variety of meats and seafood, although Muslims don't eat pork and Hindus don't eat beef. Gujarati cuisine follows the traditional Indian full meal structure of rice, cooked vegetables, lentil dal or curry and roti. The different types of flatbreads that a Gujarati cooks are rotli or chapati, bakri, thepla or debara, puri, mal pura, and purn poli. Popular snacks such as kaman, dakla, pani puri, dakli, dal dakli, undiu, jalebi, fafda, shevdo, samosa, papra chaat, mutia, bhajia, patra, bushu, loko, sev usal, fafda gathia, vanilla gathia and sev mamra are traditional Gujarati dishes savored by many communities across the world. Kichdi, a mix of rice and mung dal, cooked with spice, is a popular and nutritious dish which has regional variations. Quite often the kichdi is accompanied by kadi. It is found satisfying by most Gujaratis, and cooked very regularly in most homes, typically on a busy day due to its ease of cooking. It can also become an elaborate meal such as a tali when served with several other side dishes such as a vegetable curry, yogurt, sabzi shak, onions, mango pickle and papad. Spices have traditionally been made on grinding stones, however, since villages have seen rapid growth and industrialization in recent decades, today people may use a blender or grinder. 
People from North Gujarat use dry red chili powder, whereas people from South Gujarat prefer using green chili and coriander in their cooking. There is no standard recipe for Gujarati dishes, however the use of tomatoes and lemons is a consistent theme throughout Gujarat. Traditionally Gujaratis eat mukvas at the end of a meal to enhance digestion, and desserts such as AAM Shrikhand made using mango salad and hung curd are very popular. In many parts of Gujarat, drinking chas chilled buttermilk or soda after lunch or dinner is also quite common. Surti delicacies include gari which is a puri filled with koa and nuts that is typically eaten during the festival Chandani Padva. Kambat delicacies include famous sutarfeni, made from fine strands of sweet dough rice or maida garnished with pistachios, and halwasan which are hard squares made from broken wheat, koa, nutmeg and pistachios. A version of English custard is made in Gujarat that uses cornstarch instead of the traditional eggs. It is cooked with cardamom and saffron, and served with fruit and sliced almonds. Gujarati families celebrate Sharad Purnima by having dinner with dude pava under moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> Literature The history of Gujarati literature may be traced to 1000 AD. Since then literature has flourished till date. Well-known laureates of Gujarati literature are Javarchand Megani, Avinash Vyas, Hemchandracharya, Narsin Mehta, Gulabdas Broker, Akko, Premanand Bhatt, Shamal Bhatt, Dayaram, Dalpatram, Narmad, Gavardhanram Tripathi, Mahatma Gandhi, K. M. Munshi, Umashankar Joshi, Suresh Joshi, Panilal Patel, Imamuddin Khanji Babi Saheb, Ruswa Maslumi, Niranjan Bhagat, Rajendra Kashavlal Shah, Raghuvir Chaudhuri and Satanshu Yashaskandra Mehta. Kavi Kant, Kalapi and Abbas Abdullali Vasi are Gujarati language poets. Ardeshar Kabardar, Gujarati-speaking Parsi who was president of Gujarati Sahitya Parishad was a nationalist poet. His poem, Jya Jya Vase Ek Gujarati, Tya Tya Sadakal Gujarat wherever a Gujarati resides, there forever is Gujarat depicts Gujarati ethnic pride and is widely popular in Gujarat, Gujarat Vidya Sabha, Gujarat Sahitya Sabha, and Gujarati Sahitya Parishad are Ahmedabad-based literary institutions promoting the spread of Gujarati literature. Saraswati Chandra is a novel by Gavardhanram Tripathi. Writers like Harindra Dave, Suresh Dalal, Jyotindra Dave, Dinkar Joshi, Prahlad Brahmbat, Tarak Mehta, Harkasan Mehta, Chandrakant Bakshi, Vinod Bhatt, Kandy Bhatt, Makaran Dave, and Varsha Adalja have influenced Gujarati thinkers. Swaminarayan Paramhanzo, like Brahmanand, Premanand, contributed to Gujarati language literature with prose like Vachanamaru and poetry in the form of bhajans. Kanji Swami a spiritual mystic who was honored with the title, Ko I Noor of Kathiawar made literary contributions to Jain philosophy and promoted Ratnatreya. Gujarati theater owes a lot to Bhavai. Bhavai is a musical performance of stage plays. Keaton Mehta and Sanjay Leela Bansali explored artistic use of Bhavai in films such as Bhavni Bhavai, O oh Darling. Ye Hai India and Hum Dil De Chuk Sanam. Dairo gathering involves singing and conversation reflecting on human nature. Gujarati language is enriched by the Adhyatmic literature written by the Jain scholar, Srimad Rachandra and Pandit Himitlal Jethalal Shah. This literature is both in the form of poetry and prose. <laughs> Gujarati folklore Folklores are important part of Gujarati culture. The folktales of Kankavati are religious in nature because they sprung from the ordinary day-to-day -day human cycle of life independent of, and sometimes deviating from the scriptures. They are part of the Hindu rituals and practices for marriage, baby shower, naming ceremony, the harvest and death, and are not merely religious acts but they reflect the lived life of people in rural and urban societies. The anthologies of Dadaja Ni Vato and Rong Chhe Baro are pragmatic with practical and the esoteric wisdom. Saurashtra Ni Razdhar is a collection of love legends and depicts every shade of love and love as the main emotion which makes human world beautiful because it calls forth patience, responsibility, sense of commitment and dedication. Also the study of Meghani's works is quintessential because he was a trailblazer in exploring the vast unexplored heritage of Gujarati folklore. His folk tales mirrors milieu of Gujarat, dialects, duhas, decors, humane values, sense of sacrifice and spirit of adventure, enthusiasm and, of course, the flaws in people. 
Meganese folktales are verbal miniature of Gujarati culture. Notable people Business people Notable Gujarati business people include Dhirubhai Ambani, Mukesh Ambani, Anil Ambani, The Tata family, Gautam Adani, Karsan Bhai Patel, Virji Vora, Shantidas Javeri, Karimboy Ibrahim, Hasmik Bhai Parekh, Nautamlal Bhagavanji Mehta, Nanji Kalidas Mehta, Muljibai Madhvana Mayor Madhvana, Megji Pethraj Shah, Premchand Roychand, Kantalal Harani, Walchand Harachand, Ambalal Sarabhai, Sadradan Hashwani, Jagmal Raja Chohan, Jiram Valji Chohan, Fardunji Marsban, Ashish Thakur, Sadir Ruparilya, Azim Premji, Uday Kotak Dilip Shungvi, Raman Bhai Patel, Adam G. Pierboy, J. D. C. Baiko, Hassam Musa Rawat, Nirav Tripathi, Ismail Hashim, Haji Ismail Yusuf, Muhammad Yusuf, Samir Mehta, Sadir Mehta, Hina Shah, Ranchadlal Chahotalal, Pankaj Patel, Bharat Desai Adi Godrej Nanji Kimji Thakur Politicians Some of the most important figures involved in the independence movement were Gujarati. These include Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Patel, and father of Pakistan Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Gujaratis have also been Prime Ministers of India. They include Murarji Desai, and the current Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Others involved in Gujarat or Indian national politics include current former Chief Minister Anandiban Patel, Rajesh Chudasama, Shakti Sin Gohil, Vithal Radhidia, Vasanbhai Ahir, Prashadam Solanki, Prabhatsin Pratapsin Chohan, Punamban Madam, Asifa Khan, Vijay Rupani, Dileep Sanghani, Jayantalal Banusali, Arjun Madhwadia, Kandhal Jadia and Shankar Chaudhary. There have been many Gujaratis involved in Pakistani politics, with the most prominent individuals being stateswoman and leading founder of Pakistan, Fatima Jinnah, the sixth Prime Minister of Pakistan, I.I. Chundrigar, and the current Deputy Chairman of the Senate of Pakistan, Salim Manvawala. Other important Pakistani Gujarati politicians include Mahmud Haroon, Hussain Haroon, Muhammad Dilawar Khanji, Zubaydah Rahimtullah, Ashraf W. Tabani, Arshad Vohra, Habib Rahimtullah, and Abdul Qadir Patel, as well as many others. UK politicians of Gujarati descent include Baron Desai, Baron Papat, Baron Verji, Baron Dolakia, Baron Parekh, Shailish Vara, and Priti Patel, among others as well as Canadian politician Arif Varani. Social activists Vikram Sarabhai, Srimad Rachandra, Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Gopaldas Ambedas Desai, Ashoka Mehta, Indulal Yagnik, Sanat Mehta, Ravi Shankar Vyas, Javarchand Megani, Abbas Tayabji, Mahadev Desai, Janti Dalal, K.M. Munshi, Jugatram Dave, Odavram, Shyamji Krishna Varma, and S.R. Rana. Topic: Arts and Entertainment. Famous Bollywood veterans of Gujarati heritage include Saurabh Modi, Asha Parekh, Sanjeev Kumar, Jackie Shroff, Parveen Babi, Aditya Panchali, Dimple Kapadia, Tina Ambani, Farooq Sheikh, Manmohan Panchamia, and Medhab. Mehboob Khan was a pioneer of Hindi cinema, best known for directing the social epic drama Mother India (1957) as well as film directors such as Meel Kumar, Mahesh Bhatt and Sridhar Vyas Indian theatre personalities include Bowman Irani, and Alik Padamsi. 
Award-winning producer Ismail Merchant, won six Academy Awards in collaboration with Merchant Ivory Productions, whereas veteran playback singer Jaker Bojack has been performing in the industry for over two decades now. Bollywood actresses Prachi Desai and Amisha Patel have found fame in recent times. Manmohan Desai is remembered for casting actors like Raj Kapoor, Babita and Amitabh Bachchan in hit films he directed such as Chelia, Kismet, and Amar Akbar Anthony, and Babubai Mystery pioneered the use of special effects in films. Theatre veteran Chel Vaida was well known in Hindi cinema for being a popular production designer who designed the sets of over 50 films during his lifetime. Meanwhile, film tycoon Dalsik Punchali owned and operated one of the biggest cinema houses in Lahore and launched the careers of Punjabi film stars such as Noor Jahan in Undivided India. Wadia Movietone was a noted Indian film production company and studio based in Mumbai, established in 1933 by Wadia brothers J. B. H. Wadia and Homi Wadia, whom were originally Parsis from Surat. Director Chitterbuj Doshi is today known as was one of the founding fathers of Gujarati cinema. Gujarati films have made artists like Naresh Kanodia, Apendra Trivedi, Snalata, Rajiv, Roma Manik, Aruna Arani and Asrani popular in the entertainment industry. Among these dynamic actors, the late Apendra Trivedi who was a leading veteran of Gujarati cinema, made a popular pair with the heroine Snalata and together they co-acted in more than 70 Gujarati films. Arvind Trivedi by whom the famous character of Ravana was played in Ramanad Sagar's popular TV serial Ramayana as his brother. In recent times, Gujarati drama film releases such as Little Zizo, Kevi Wright Jaish, and Premji, Rise of a Warrior were positively received by audiences. Gujarati TV serials, which showcase the traditional culture and lifestyle, have made a prominent place in India. Comedy actors such as Paresh Rawal, Sarita Joshi, Urvashi Dolakia, Ketka Dave, Purbi Joshi, Disha Vikani, Dilip Joshi, Jamnadas Majethia, Devan Bajani, Rashmi Desai, Satish Shah, Dina Patak, Ratna Patak Shah and Supriya Patak have found a place in audience hearts and are presently the top actors on Indian television. Modern actors of Gujarati heritage who are more versatile include Darshan Pandya, Vatsal Seth, Avinash Sachdev, Esha Kansara, Shrenu Parikh, Amar Upadhyay, Varaf Patel, Ajaz Khan, Samir Datana, Karishma Tana, Drashti Dami, Disha Savla, Komal Thakur, Vasim Block, Parth Oza, Tanvi Vyas, Nisha Rawal, Karen Suchik, Jugal Jethi, Isha Sharvani, Pia Trivedi, Sanjita Sheikh Puja Gore, Pyle Rohatji, Ravish Desai, Shafali Zarawala, and Shanaz Treasuriwala. There are dedicated television channels airing Gujarati programs. Well known musicians include the internationally acclaimed Kalyanji Ananji, Vasant Rai, pop star Alisha Chennai, Darshan Ravel, Shakar Ravjani, Salim Suleiman, sons of Sadradin Merchant, who is veteran composer of the film industry, and Ghazal singer Pankaj Udis, who is recipient of the Padma Shri. Famous sports icons of Gujarati heritage include Carson Gavri, Deepak Shodan, Ashok Mankad, Ghulam Gard, Prince Aslam Khan, Rajesh Chohan, Parthiv Patel, Yusuf Patan, Irfan Patan, Cheteshwar Pujara, Manpreet Juneha, Ajay Jadia, Ravindra Jadia, Chirag Yani, Munaf Patel, Aksar Patel, Kiran Moore, Ian Dev Singh, and Sheldon Jackson. Science and technology World-renowned computer scientist and inventor of Sixth Sense, Pranav Mystery Vice President of Research at Samsung, Sam Petroda Communication Revolution, and Indian physicist Vikram Sarabhai are Gujarati. Vikram Sarabhai is considered the father of India's space program. While Dr. Homi Jehangir Baba, a Parsi who is related to the Tata industrial family is the father of India's nuclear science program. Another well-known Parsi pioneer Jamset G. Tata who founded Tata Group, India's biggest conglomerate company and devoted his life to four goals, setting up an iron and steel company, a world-class learning institution, a unique hotel and a hydroelectric plant, is the father of Indian industry. <laughs> Images. Topic. See also Jethwa Rajputs Rajputs of Gujarat Dharasana Satyagraha Navnarman Andolan 
Mahagujarat movement Hind Swaraj or Indian Home Rule Genetic studies on Gujarati people